Good day, friends. It is me, H.O. Montek, and I'm back with another awesome lesson. Today, my friends, we're going to play in code blocks, so let's get cracking. Of course, step one is to click code blocks, and we're going to create a new code block. Before we do that, though, let me show you what we're going to make. It is an awesome little ring where we've got the letters of the alphabet on the ring and adjusted so they go all the way around it before it groups, and then you can 3D print it with your own custom words. Now, when we first build it, it's going to have just the separate letters of the alphabet because that lets us keep track of where they're at and make sure they are oriented the correct way. But when we're all done, you'll be able to change those letters to put any phrase you want on your sweet custom ring. And then my idea for you after that is to actually change the scale of this in your 3D printer settings instead of worrying about it on the printer. I found that the size I'm giving you fits most middle schoolers, although with just a little bit of a percent change on your 3D print, you can get them to turn out just the way you want. So let's move on to some sweet code. That first step was to hit create new design. Let's start by changing that name to ring with words. This one's going to be brute force. We'll make a fancier one later, but this just gets you the coding techniques. Start by hitting modify and we're going to create a new object and this object is going to be called the ring. It is going to be built with a shape and go figure, we are going to use the tube. When you bring the tube out, we need to connect it. We need to change its measurements. I'm going to tell you that a great size is a radius of 12 millimeters. I like a wall thickness of 2.2. Change the height to 8 millimeters. That ends up being a decent size for the ring. And then make sure it has 12 sides. This is the part that's most important as we build our sweet shape. When you hit play, you'll see that it draws pretty quickly. It looks kind of like a ring, but it has flat sides, which we're going to use to add the letters in a minute. You'll notice that it's below zero, and that's because it uses coordinates. So we're going to fix that with a sweet move. If we go to the modify command, we can choose that move, and we want to move it four up on the Z, which is half of this H. I'm going to slide this all the way to the right so it happens instantly, but you can see it just raised that up so now it's at the correct level. Now I've done a little math for you because there are 12 sides. Each side has 30 degrees, so if we rotate it 15 degrees, which is half of the distance, that'll be flat. Watch how easy it is to make that happen. Bring in the rotate around. Make sure you change it to axis Z. And instead of 90, make it 15. And then we want to rotate around 0, 0, which we can find in the math location and simply drop it in the box. When you hit play, boom, that is lined up beautiful on the axis. I'm going to switch to the back view and then the front view so that we can actually see it the way we would be expecting to see it. And I also like those angle views. Alrighty, friends, let's add our first letter. We're going to do that once again with shapes, and we'll bring out text. Click that little arrow. Make sure you have the caps lock on, and change the word text to just the letter A. And I have caps lock, so it looks cool. I'm going to put a number 2 for the height of it. Leave everything else alone. I'm going to slide this over so it happens instantly, and you can see we've got an A that is laying down. Let's fix that by using the modify and rotate command. We want to rotate around X 90 degrees, and we want to go to math and add that sweet 000. zero, zero. Hit play, and boom, you'll see that little dude is standing up. Let's move him out where he's going to end up. He, and I'm going to promise you this, will be at negative 11. That's because we're going to cut them out later. Remember, we did a size 12 here. And then I have found the number 4.5 is pretty sweet for the next part. See how he's right out on that face. And then we're going to shrink them down. Once again, I'm giving you numbers, friends. 0.2, keep it 1. And 0.3 are good for most numbers. When you hit play, bam, you've got the letter A attached to the front of your sweet ring. This is where it gets kind of slick, friends. If you bring that apart, 
right click and duplicate it set it down below you can reuse your code let's put a letter B I'm gonna change the color just for giggles later we are gonna make these all holes and to get this ready for the next face all we need to do is add another rotate make sure you snap that on and because there are 12 sides if you do 360 degrees divided by 12 you get 30 and we can zip into the math and find that same 0 0 0 to drop in the pivot when you hit play boom you've got an oops because I forgot to change to axis Z this is kind of cool though because that way if you see it happen to your neighbors you'll be able to hook them up as well friends from here on out it is just duplicating and then adding 30 so boom 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 pick a different color just so it looks sweet and this one is 60 degrees and let's do that letter C just to prove to you how awesome it is boom shakalaka ABC break it apart duplicate pick a different color gotta put the letter D 60 and 30 is 90 pull a boom you should be getting the hang of this by now but I will walk you all the way around it pick another color E 90 and 30 is 120 click somewhere else test it you've got a letter E <laughs> except for the fact that I put a three that's kind of funny let's try play again and see how that turns out the right way duplicate and you don't have to break them apart if you were watching closely you can do that without sometimes I like to just because it makes it look more clean as you're doing it 150 is the magic number and play so my friends let's duplicate click add pick that color this time type 180 when you press en enter turn it into a G one more time play and double check BAM right click duplicate set it down below 180 is 210 but watch this when you click it automatically changes to negative 150 for you let's make it an H pick a different color and when you hit play you'll see that its math was correct let's right click and duplicate that one set it down below pick a different color I'm gonna go white this time and I'm gonna take away 30 from that so negative 120 is my new number when I hit play boom I forgot to make the next letter there's the letter I and that one's good to go right click duplicate add the next one below gonna be smart and make it an HIJ and I'm gonna take away 30 again negative 90 let's hit play and see how it looks boom boom except J is weird I'm gonna change J to 0.25 let's see how that looks there's something funny about the letter J I'm gonna try 0.2 and find the right size for it right click duplicate set it down below let's make it a K once again we're gonna subtract 30 so this will be negative 60 go back to 0.3 I already changed it I am gonna pick a new color though because that's kind of fun and hit play last but not least friends right click duplicate set it down below L and negative 30 is their number play so my friends we have all of a sudden got a ring with letters all the way around let's real quickly change these all the holes so that when you group it it cuts them out and then I'll show you how to make it into the actual ring that we 3d print with the cool phrase that you pick instead of these silly letters that I've had you create at the very very bottom with those all made into holes add a create group 
hit the button and wait patiently as the ring builds itself, groups itself, and becomes this awesome cutout project. You can change those scales if you don't like them, like my J might be a little bit small. Find your perfect numbers, but the most important thing is to back out to the code block screen and take your project you made and make a duplicate. You don't ever want to wreck that original one. When you launch your second one, then you can make a cool phrase and get it ready for 3D printing. So here I am in the copy of the ring, and I'm going to make one for my favorite football team, the Detroit Lions. So I'm going to put go, or actually I'm going to put the roar. T H E. And then this is where it gets kind of tricky. I want a space, right? So I'm going to take the next letter, I'm going to break it out, and I'm going to throw it away. So that way nothing happens in that spot. And then I'm going to reconnect, and I'm going to add the R O A R. And then I'm going to grab all the other letters below that R. So I'm going down to here, and I'm throwing them out as well. Now notice we're doing this with a copy. So I'm going to change this, uh, the name. And I'm going to change it to the Roar Ring. And then here's what's magical. When we hit play, it will draw that cool ring. And it'll group it. Oops, I forgot my group. Let's drop that group back in there. And now when I hit play, it draws the cool words, the Roar. And it cuts them out. Just like that, I've created an awesome custom... 3D printable ring using Tinkercad and code blocks. Alrighty friends, so there you have it. A pretty slick way to create your own custom rings. Uh, if you go to Thingiverse, there are ring sizers you can print. I printed this one so that way you can tell what size you're aiming for. Uh, the size the size 12 radius we use works for a lot of kids, but if you start to figure out you need to go up, you just raise it by 10%. And I found 10% either way was what I used to adjust it. Just make sure that you leave the Z the same because you don't want it to be more than 8 millimeters thick. Unless you for some reason want it to be more than 8 millimeters thick. I love this item because it prints in about 15 minutes, which is great because I can print as many of them as I want for the kids. And also you want to make sure that you have raft. I print them at 0.3 millimeters and they've worked on all my printers. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.